I haven't felt this good about my golf bag setup in years. Hello everyone, I'm Coach Lockie and 2023 is well underway. So I wanted to share with you what is in my golf bag this year. Now, as I go through my golf bag, there are also quite a few lessons to be learned for you down that lens watching. Let's get straight into it then. First up, what is my golf bag that all my stuff goes in? I have the Callaway Fairway C stand bag. It's compact, it's light, it weighs under two kilograms, so it's perfect for golfers who carry. Four-way divider top with full-length dividers, five pockets, alloy towel rig, double straps with clips, which makes it super easy to adjust the straps. And I think you might even be able to make this a single strap too. Comes with a rain hood, which I never use because it's fair to say I'm pretty much a fair weather golfer these days. And it's also got grab handles, which makes it super easy for chucking your clubs in the car when you have finished. I've always been a lightweight carry bag kind of golfer. I always used to carry as an amateur and now obviously with traveling a lot, it's super important to be as lightweight as possible. Now, before I did get sent that golf bag, Callaway actually sent me a 14 way fully waterproof carry bag. And that's just not me. So I'm gonna give it away. And if you wanna win this, I want you to comment down below what your target handicap is for 2023. You also need to subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button, hit a thumbs up on the video too, if you're enjoying the content. And lastly, don't forget to turn the bell notification on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. And I'll pin the winner in the comment section. So it will be right at the top of the comments. There was plenty of spam going on a few months ago, which is why I stopped all my giveaways. So don't be lured into those spam comments if anyone comments saying message me your details please don't good luck to everyone entering next up are my irons and i've carried them on from last year i've got the apex pro but i've made a slight little tweak at the top end so i go from six iron down to a pitching wedge in the apex pro and then up the top end i've got something a little funky i've got the x forged ut x21 long irons and I've got a 24, a 21, and a 21. What? So I've had all three of them bent slightly, and the two with the blue grips on are the more lofted ones. You can see I've got my blue grips on these ones. These have been all been bent, so they align with lofts with my Apex Pro. I think the 24 is up two degrees, so it's a 26. This is a 23, and then this is bent one degree strong to a 20. So all my lofts now align, and I've got a bit more chunkiness and help at the top end where things get a little bit harder with the longer shots. Iron shafts, I've got Project X 6.0s in all of my irons, including my wedges. Golf Pride MCC plus four grips. And like we'll talk about in a minute, the reason why I've gone for these chunky monkeys at the top is because I've got rid of one of my hybrids. And here's lesson number one for you. I've experimented with hybrids over the last few years. And yes, I understand that Roland Bulge might help me out and the CG being further back might help with forgiveness and things like that. But I'm just personally not a lover of hybrids as much as I am longer irons. Now I do have a hybrid and that's again to match in with my distances, but having that longer iron, that four iron slash three iron in the bag, I'm super happy with because I've now got a long iron off the tee when I want it for those tighter par fours that I just need to try and get it in play. 200 yards to the middle uphill probably playing like 215 and into the wind. Probably not got the right club there. I'm gonna go for my longest iron and that is the gray grip. So I know which is the less lofted of those two 21 degrees. Callaway have obviously brought out their Paradigm irons, which do look super good. But because personally, I think my approach game and iron play is strong at the moment compared to the rest of my game. I don't really want to tweak them. Yes, having shiny new stuff is all good and I love it. But sometimes, again, like you guys down that lens, think about performance. That was super into wind. I've come up just short of the green, but it should be a super simple up and down to make birdie. And this gives me a good opportunity to talk wedges. Wedges, I've got the Jaws MD5 50 degree and 12 bounce in my gap wedge. And then I go up to a 58 degree in the Jaws 
full tow with 10 degrees of bounce. I know Callaway do have newer wedges out, but I just haven't had time to test them and try them out yet to see which ones I want. And I'll probably change and I'll update you when I do. But for the time being, these seem to work just fine. Before we get onto the juicy stuff, I'm rocking the Odyssey Tri-Hot 5K double Y. Yep, that works too. My putter length is 33 inches and it has this sort of mid slash jumbo size Odyssey grip on it, which is great for my prayer grip. And this putter, dare I say it, could be with me for quite some time because this thing I absolutely love. I used to have a blade when I was a kid and the blade with the technology in this putter with the MOI being higher because of the weights and the positioning gives it that sort of mallet feel. And I absolutely love it because I am renowned for having a two ball and things like that as well, which also I love. And I might swap back to one of them at some point, you know, <laughs> but this thing is gonna be hard to get out the bag. So where it's all changed, Paradigm is here. Paradigm driver, Paradigm fairway wood, Paradigm hybrid as well. I was lucky enough to be invited to Callaway's launch party in LA the start of the year and I went to the Eli Center and got fit for my driver which was a super cool experience and if you haven't seen that video I'll link it in one of these corners. I've got the standard Paradigm driver. The looks of this thing are unreal. You've got the forged carbon pattern on the bottom in the blue, which is unique to every driver. So no driver will look the same on the bottom. You've got the blue on the top, which is beautiful. I did love the matte finish on my previous driver, the Rogue, but I just don't think you can beat this. I'm nine degrees and adjusted to 10, so I've added a degree of loft. My sliding weight at the back is in the neutral setting. I've got a big, fat, mid-size CP2 Golf Pride wrapped grip and the famous handcrafted Project X in there as well. If you want to see a full driver review of the full Paradigm range, let me know in the comments section down below, as this does come in three different types of head. Also, I haven't done the Paradigm irons yet either. So let me know down there. Do you want to see those videos? I love the sound of this driver, the feel of this driver, the looks. And for those who have been watching for quite a few years and seen me play on course vlogs and things like that, probably know that driving is not my strongest part of my game. But this is definitely making me want to hit driver more, practice more. And it's giving me that confidence to bring it out here on the course and whack it more. Something that's not in the bag, but I am also going to be using this year is my ShotScope watch. This is in the bag and my ShotScope rangefinder. The team at ShotScope are super kind in giving me all their stats and data, which I then can give to you guys and help you try and improve. I also love the tracking device to keep my own stats and I use it with all my students as well. So when they're not with me, I can keep monitoring them. So I'll be using ShotScope throughout this year as well. Fairway wood and hybrid. I have my previous fairway wood, which was a four wood in my bag for probably two or three years. And now I've decided to upgrade to the new Paradigm. It is a three high launch. So basically a four wood again, it's 16.5 degrees. It's got all their new tech obviously in the head, but the thing I like is the adjustability, which my Epic didn't have. So now I can tweak and fine tune what loft I want on this. If I want it to sit open and close and things like that as well. To suit my game the best, I like to de-loft my woods, which is why I go with a bit more loft 
and I will be testing this out throughout the next few months in certain lies and things to see if I need to adjust it. But at the moment, it's in standard setting, 16.5 degrees. I've got my 6.0 hazardous shaft and the same grip as my driver. Hybrid, I've also changed because of this adjustability, which is just gonna help me really match up my gapping throughout my set. It looks exactly the same as my last one. It's a teardroppy shape, which I like. Callaway did do like the iron looking hybrids, which had a really high toe, which weren't for my sort of taste and liking. I much prefer the teardroppy look of these hybrids. And again, the adjustability is just doing it for me. And after me saying that hybrids aren't really my thing, this is probably driver or three wood off this T, but I'm gonna hit my hybrid just to prove to you down that lens that I can also hit these things too. Oh yeah, that felt good. And before we finish, I've just remembered, what am I gonna be hitting with these clubs? Well, I think you've probably guessed it. It's my trusty Chrome Softs. Not sure if I'm gonna be yellow or white this season. Haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to be heading back to white just because it's what I've done since I was a little kid. Yellow ball. Yeah, you can see it quite clearly in the air, which is quite nice, but this is just traditional coach Lockie. Thanks all for watching. Again, if you are enjoying the channel and the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and turn that bell notification on so you get updated when I upload all my new videos. Thanks all for watching. Let's have a brilliant 2023 years of golf. Don't go in. Ho ho!